Hello, I'm Seth Johnson with Land the House. So in a previous video, I connected a ram pump to a nozzle to see if the pressure in the tank um, could be kept high because the water was nozzled down. And it worked. So the thought behind that was, can we use that nozzle down ram pump to um, generate electricity? So that's what we're going to do today. So I've got this guy. It is a 21 amp, 120 volts, uh, 2.5 horsepower, 7,000 RPM DC motor. And I've uh, got this little wheel here with um, uh, 90 degree elbows attached. So the water will hit this and spin it. And I've got a multimeter and we'll find out how much electricity is generated. So let's test it out. So the first thing I'd like to test is how much uh, voltage we get off of just straight piping through the ram pump. So, got that turned on. Got this set to volts here. One point six volts, one point seven, yeah, one point seven is all I can get off of this. So now let's nozzle this down and see what we get. I have the pump running and it's on a, a bigger nozzle. I'm not sure what the size is. But, let's see what we get here. Four point five volts. Yeah, 4.5, so a good bit more actually. Well, I nozzled this thing down again to an even smaller size so we can see what we get here. I don't really remember the sizes here. Two point three on my best here. Yeah, two point three. Here's a real basic view of what I was using. So it's just a treadmill motor with um, a grinding disc and 90 degree elbows cut in uh, with a, a notch cut out all the way. So when the water hits it, it uh, shoots in there and then catches the next one. Just have the uh, normal uh, nut there holding it on. So you can see here when I spin this. Yeah, me just spinning this actually makes uh, three volts versus the four we were getting on our uh, system here. I apologize for the audio in these clips. It's hard to record next to that waterfall. So this thing, of course, is extremely inefficient, um, but I think it gave us some pretty uh, decent results. So what was it, uh, one and a half, I guess, for the straight piping, 
uh, was four point something with uh, the bigger nozzle and then uh, two point something with the lower nozzle. I've already forgotten. <laughs> so um, you can nozzle it down too far and no nozzle doesn't give much electricity off of this thing at all. Uh, I think our feet of head here somewhere around five to six right there. Um, so you can do the math on how much uh, flow through a one and a quarter pipe should give you. But um, I'm assuming with that ram pump adding pressure to that um, nozzle, you're getting more than if you just nozzled down pipe by itself. Anyway, that was a fun test. Maybe one day I'll actually uh, purchase a real Pelton wheel instead of this uh, little cupped wheel and we'll see uh, some better results. Also I noticed that um, when I'm holding it my hand wobbles so um, that takes away also from the production. Anyway, fun stuff. Thanks for watching. I'm Seth Johnson with Land House and I'll see you next time. Bye.